Hello students, today we shall discuss about transpose of a matrix, a matrix obtained by changing row into columns and columns into rows is called transpose of a matrix. If matrix is A, then its transpose is denoted by A dash or A power T. In other words, if A is equal to A i j of order m by n, then a dash is equal to a j i of order n by m. Now, look for an example on your screen. If matrix A is given by 3, 5, root 3, 1, 0, minus 1 upon 5 of order 3 by 2, then transpose of A will be written as 3 root 3, 0, 5, 1, minus 1 upon 5 this will be of order 2 by 3. Now, a question if matrix A is given by 1, 2, 3 write A into transpose of A where A dash is the transpose of matrix A. For the solution given matrix A is 1, 2, 3 transpose of matrix is given by 1, 2, 3 product of A and transpose of a will be calculated as 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 3 into 3 which is equal to 14. Now, let us discuss some properties of transpose of the matrices. For any matrices A and B of suitable orders, we have transpose of transpose of A is equal to A. Second property is k into a transpose is equal to k into transpose of a where k is any constant. Property 3 a plus b transpose is equal to transpose of a plus transpose of b. Property 4 transpose of product a b is equal to transpose of b into transpose of a. Now, let us see what do you mean by symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. A square matrix A having elements A i j is said to be symmetric if transpose of A is equal to matrix A. That is A i j is equal to A j i for all possible values of i and j. For example, matrix A has elements root 3, 2, 3, 2, minus 1.5, minus 1, 3, minus 1, 1 is a symmetric matrix as transpose of A is equal to A. What is a skew symmetric matrix? A square matrix A having elements A i j is said to be skew symmetric matrix if transpose of A is equal to minus A that is a j i is equal to minus a i j for all possible values of i and j. Now, if we put i is equal to j, we have a i i is equal to minus a i i that implies 2 a i i is equal to 0 or a i i is equal to 0 for all i's. This means that all the diagonal elements of a skew symmetric matrix are 0. Now, students let us look into some theorems related to symmetric matrix and skew symmetric matrix. First theorem for any square matrix A with real number entries A plus A dash is a symmetric matrix and a minus A dash is a skew symmetric matrix. Second theorem, any square matrix can be expressed as the sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. Now, look at this example on your screen 2, 1, 0, 
3 minus 1 5 4 6 1 express this matrix as a sum of symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. For the solution we have by theorem matrix A can be expressed as half of A plus A dash plus half of A minus A dash. Take it as equation 1 where half of A plus A dash is symmetric and half of A minus A dash is skew symmetric matrix. Since matrix A is 2 1 0 3 minus 1 5 4 6 1 implies half of A plus A transpose that is half of 2 1 0 3 minus 1 5 4 6 1 plus 2 3 4 1 minus 1 6 0 5 1 which can be further simplified as 1 upon 2 into A plus transpose of A is equal to half of 4 4 4 as first row 4 minus 2 11 elements of second row 4 11 2 elements of third row which on simplification can be expressed as 2 2 2 as elements of first row 2 minus 1 11 upon 2 as elements of second row 2 11 upon 2 1 as elements of third row. Also 1 upon 2 A minus transpose of A can be expressed as 1 upon 2 into 2 1 0 as elements of first row 3 minus 1 5 elements of second row 4 6 1 elements of third row minus 2 3 4 elements of first row 1 minus 1 6 elements of second row 0 5 1 elements of third row. This on simplification can be expressed as 1 upon 2 0 minus 2 minus 4 2 0 minus 1 4 1 0. Further we get 0 minus 1 minus 2 1 0 minus 1 upon 2 2 1 upon 2 0. Take this equation as 3. Now from first, second and third equation we can express the given matrices as desired 2 1 0 3 minus 1 5 4 6 1 as 2 2 2 2 minus 1 11 upon 2 2 11 upon 2 1 plus 0 minus 1 minus 2 1 0 minus 1 upon 2 2 1 upon 2 0. Now students let us look into the elementary operations transformation of a matrix. There are 6 operations that is transformations on a matrix 3 of which are due to rows and 3 due to columns which are known as elementary operations are transformations. First one the interchange of any two rows or two columns. Second the multiplication of the elements of any row or column by a non-zero number. Third one the addition to the elements of any row or column the corresponding elements of any other row or column multiplied by any non-zero number. Now let us look into invertible matrices. If A is a square matrix of order M and if there exists another square matrix B of the same order M such that product AB is equal to product BA that is equal to I then B is called the inverse matrix of A and it is denoted by A inverse. In that case A is said to be invertible. Now look at one example on your screen let A is equal to 2 3 1 2 and B matrix B 2 minus 3 minus 1 2 be two matrices then product AB is obtained by 2 3 1 2 multiplied by 
2 minus 3 minus 1 2. On simplifying we get 4 minus 3 as the first element of first row. Similarly, minus 6 plus 6 as second element of first row, 2 minus 2 first element of second row, minus 3 plus 4 second element of second row that is again written as 1 0 0 1. This is nothing but an identity matrix I. Also product B A is equal to 1 0 0 1 that is equal to I. Thus, B is the inverse of A matrix. In other words, B is equal to A inverse that is A is inverse of B and it can be written as A is equal to B inverse. Find the inverse of matrix A 6 minus 3 minus 2 1 if exists using elementary row operations that is transformations. Consider matrix A as 6 minus 3 minus 2 1. We write matrix A as identity matrix into matrix A that implies 6 minus 3 minus 2 1 is equal to identity matrix 1 0 0 1 into A. By performing an operation R 2 obtained by 3 into R 2 we get 6 minus 3 minus 2 3 is equal to 1 0 0 3 multiplied by matrix A. This can be further simplified as 6 minus 3 0 0 is equal to 1 0 1 3 into A. This is by performing R 2 gives R 2 plus R 1. As on LHS we notice all the elements of R 2 are zeros. So, we cannot obtain identity matrix on LHS. Hence, A inverse does not exist. Now, students look at one interesting example which is asked in board exams many times. If matrix A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 3 minus 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, then show that A cube minus 23 into A minus 40 i is equal to 0. Look at the solution on your monitor. A square is equal to A into A. This can be simplified as 1, 2, 3, 3 minus 2, 1, 4, 2, 1 into 1, 2, 3, 3 minus 2, 1, 4, 2, 1 is equal to 19, 4, 8, 1, 12, 8, 14, 6, 15 as a matrix on simplification. So, A cube can be simplified as A into A square. A matrix is 1, 2, 3, 3 minus 2, 1, 4, 2, 1 multiplied by the previous matrix A square we have obtained above 19, 4, 8, 1, 12, 8, 14, 6, 15. This on multiplication gives us a cube minus 23a minus 40i as 63, 46, 69, 69 minus 6, 23, 92, 46, 63 minus 23 into matrix A, 23 into 1, 2, 3, 3 minus 2, 1, 4, 2, 1 minus 40 into identity matrix. Identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. On solving this, we get 63, 46, 69, 69 minus 6, 23, 92, 46, 63 plus we have taken minus sign inside. So, all the elements get a minus sign here minus 23, minus 46, minus 69, minus 69. 46 minus 23 minus 92 minus 46 minus 23 plus minus 40 0 0 0 minus 40 0 0 0 minus 40. This on simplification gives us 63 minus 23 minus 40 
46 minus 46 plus 0, 69 minus 69 plus 0 as elements of first row, 69 minus 69 plus 0, minus 6 plus 46 minus 40 as second element of second row, 23 minus 23 plus 0 as third element of second row, 92 minus 92 plus 0 as first element of third row, 46 minus 46 plus 0 as second element of third row, 63 minus 23 minus 40 as third element of third row. On simplification, you can look into this, you get as 0 matrix 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 of order 3, hence proved. So, students, today we studied about transpose of a matrix, symmetric matrix, skew symmetric matrix and transformations of matrix. Thank you. Thank you.